Ahoy mateys and welcome back to the Rough Seas Report and get a little bit of a new branding kind of going on. I've been working on that logo for a while so I'm very excited to see, um, to actually like see it on the thumbnail. It makes me feel good. Um, still haven't figured out like all the other details around them so that's, that's a whole other thing. Um, but today we're doing technically week two. It's been about a week since the last couple cards have come out. Um, the uh, the ballerina, um, progenitor dragon, and the uh, the new emperor um, Obadiah, and we actually have stuff for um, V E B O eight, the My Glorious Justice. I think that's the one that's from. Um, and we're just gonna kind of go off in order of release. I've been saving them up all to to do. Or so that I could do at least more than two per video. And so we got about five today. And the first one is Seabed Demon Beast Scared Dick. And I know a lot of people are making fun of uh, the last part of that name. Uh, but you got to keep in mind that it's based off of Moby Dick. And it's a big giant zombie whale. He's got like side jaws and he's really cool. And I, I like the art on it. The effect itself, mm, can leave it or take it. Take it. Or, I can take it or leave it. There we go. Um, I'm just. I'm, I got my side monitor over here. I'm gonna read off. It's a grade three, with protect, uh, 12k power, and has uh, act on the vanguard or rearguard circle. Once per turn, if your drop zone is 30 or more cards, cost discard all of the cards in your hand, and this unit gets power plus 30,000 slash critical plus one until end of turn. So, um, I guess it's supposed to be a finisher, but, and I talked about it on, um, the, I think, episode 163 or something of Drive Check, and, um, I like the idea behind it. Standard, I don't think, uh, you're gonna run it outside of maybe, like, a budget version, but, um, I think it's really cool. The only problem is... You're only getting plus thirty thousand in a crit for having thirty more cards in your hand in your drop zone, and if you you know like if you think you have forty nine cards total in your um in your deck, not counting your starter, so that's pretty much all of your cards are in your drop zone, and the likelihood of you getting this out is is really slim. I'd rather just have the skull dragons that I can call multiple times and have their numbers be more than plus 30,000. Sure, they don't have a crit, but that's what Baskirk's for. Baskirk always has a crit, and plus if you drive check crits, you just throw them onto those um, rear guards, so... The Skull Dragon rear guards, so I don't know. Um, but in premium, when with stand triggers, this is really nice because this doesn't retire at the end of the battle like um, Skull Dragon does. So that's pretty nice. It stays on the field. However, again, 30 in the drop zone. Also, you have to get rid of your entire hand. I don't know if you want to do that in premium because you have rough seas, banshees, and you know you build up your hand. That's what Grand Blue is known for with those cards specifically. Um, standard, uh, by that point in the game, you probably don't have much of a hand to begin with. So that's why I'm all right with that cost. It's not too bad. Not too... Um, big of a cost for that um so yeah i mean it also does give you a protect gift so that's neat i guess but we'll jump on to the next one which is pat the ghosty and pat the ghosty is pretty sweet actually i like pat the ghosty a lot i don't know if uh, he'll see play at all but um we'll just jump into his effect it's a grade one with 4k power and 15k uh shield 15k shield on a grade 1. Um, continuous, in the drop zone. During the battle that your opponent's vanguard attacked, if your drop zone has 10 or more cards, you may call this card to guardian circle. Which, that right there is pretty sweet. Um, you don't have to have it in your hand. You can guard from the drop zone, which is pretty sweet. However, it has a second ability. It says an auto on the guardian circle. When retired from guardian circle, bind this card. Now it does not specify when it was called from the drop zone to the guardian circle. It just says any time that it's retired from the guardian circle. So that means that if you guard it with your hand, it doesn't go to the drop zone, it's bound. 
Um, I think that right there killed it. Um, killed pretty much all viability of this card. Um, however, premium ghosties might like it because they, they mill a lot and they like having ghosties triggered when they mill. So it's ghosty in the name and also you can guard from the um, from the drop zone which is great and uh, with ghosties they don't really care about the number of cards in your drop zone. So I think that has some potential. Also 4k power is a little not great at all but I don't know we'll see. Um, okay so let's pat the ghosty. Now we'll move on to King Tentacle. And um, again, there are a lot of immature people out there. This is supposed to be like the Kraken of like pirate uh, lore and whatnot. It's a big giant like squid or octopus sort of creature that destroys ships, which is what, you know, I'll put the art up. I don't know where, but that's what um, it's based off of. Um, it is a grade three, but without a protect gift marker. It's 12k power and is auto when it's put into the drop zone from your deck. Cost Soul Blast 1, call this card to rear circle, and it gets power plus 10,000 until end of turn. That's not bad. It really isn't bad. It's because, first off, it does not say that it has to be milled um, specifically from put into the drop zone from the, uh, the top of your deck. So if you have a way to search it out, like with Emperor Obadiah, and you can um, chuck it into the drop zone from your deck, and then you can pay the Soul Blast and call it, which is pretty neat. Um, not having a gift is really rather unfortunate. Only getting plus 10,000 power is also sort of unfortunate. Um, but that's about it, I guess. Like, It's a cool idea. And I like it. I want to see more things, more cards like it. But I don't see it really fitting into standard. At least not for a non-budget build. And a budget build, sure, I could definitely see this. Because it calls itself for a soul blast. Not even a counter blast. That's pretty sweet. Um, but, I mean, like, I wouldn't want to get rid of Skull Dragon or uh, Baskirk for sure. Probably going to have four of Kakaitis. We'll just see what he does. We don't know yet. Um, and then you're probably going to have maybe one Negro Breach or Flanger. Just depending on how you like to play. I don't know. But I don't see this card being in a non-budget build. So uh, let's move to Master Swordsman Nightstorm. It's a grade 3. Protect. 12k power. Auto on the Vanguard or Vanguard Circle. Uh, you can cost, put two cards from the top of your deck into your drop zone. So it's milling. We like milling. And this unit gets power plus 5,000 until end of turn. So that's not bad. It's a 17k attacker by itself, which does hit force numbers barely. Uh, well, not barely, but, you know, it hits force numbers. Um, and it, its second ability is auto on the Vanguard or Vanguard Circle again. When it attacks a vanguard, if your drop zone has 10 or more cards, cost counter blast 1 and draw a card. Again, it's not bad. Definitely in a budget build, I see I see legs for this. But, I, I don't know. I Again, I don't want to replace Skull Dragon with this. Or... Negro Breach, because Negro Breach can get me out of jams. This just lets me use up a Counter Blast to draw a card. Granted, I do get to mill two with its first ability, and it's Vanguard or Vanguard Circle for both of them. But, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, like, budget again, all day. Sure, it's a great card in budget. Also, it's a nice option in premium Grand Blue, um, the non-Night Rose version. Because on place, you can counter blast one and draw a card before you stride, which is pretty neat. Um, and uh, you do get to mill another two when it's on place, so it does a little bit more than Baskirk. The only problem is it, when you're stuck on it, it doesn't do anything. Like It doesn't have an activated ability. They're both auto abilities. However, you also have, like, you know, if you're going to play with Baskirk, you have the option to call cards still from your drop zone. Um, so, I don't know, like, it's a pretty neat 
card. I might try it out when I actually get to building the good version of um, Grand Blue and Premium, but I don't know. And let's end it off on a high note. How about that? <laughs> that was weird. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Greed Shade is a grade 2, 9k power, and 5k shield. It's continuous on the Vanguard or Rearguard circle. During your turn, if your drop zone has 10 or more cards, this unit gets power plus 15. So then it becomes a 14k, uh, 14k attacker, which is pretty sweet. And then it has a second ability, Auto, on the Rearguard circle. When placed, cost discard a card from your hand. Put two cards from the top of your deck into your drop zone and return a card not named Greed Shade from your drop zone to your hand. The card is insane. It's real good. It's so good. So essentially, let's break it down. So this is the first ability. Uh, during your turn, blah, 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 you get to 5k power, which makes a 14k attacker, which hits force, which is great. It's fantastic. Um, also... Uh, auto on the bigger circle when placed. So the second one, you can discard a card from your hand, which, I mean, it kind of sucks, but also is not bad because you're setting up your drop zone. So like if you have a skull dragon or something that you don't want in your hand um, at the beginning, you know, chances are you're going to call it as soon as you can. So any cards you don't need in your hand you want in the drop zone, call this, pitch that, and you can mill two, which is great because we're milling more. Um, and then you can return a card not named itself to your drop zone. So anything that you mill, or maybe even it's something that you were just gonna basically just gonna recycle. I don't know why you would do that because you show your opponent what you're doing. Like if you're gonna take a card from your hand and discard it with its cost and call it, or you know bring it back, its ability. Anyway, uh, Baskirk. If you mill a Baskirk, you can get Baskirk back, which is great. Or Kakaitis, whatever Kakaitis is gonna do. That's really nice. Also, if um, there's any other cards that you need, which would be really good. Also, I've seen the argument for Protect 2. This card is really good, especially when you can, uh, if you mill a perfect card. Because Protect 2 doesn't give you perfect cards. So you're kind of SOL on, um, you know, those Protect gifts. You know, Protect 1. So this would be really nice if you mill, end up milling your uh, uh, perfect card. You can get it back to your hand and you're still good to go. Plus, it's a grade 2, which means it has intercepts, so it's a 15k shield when it guards, which is nothing to sneeze at. Um, also, that would stack, so it could be more. And it does hit. Like, it hits by itself, which is really nice. So I think this card's really good. That's just talking about standard, like, with premium. Oh, man. So you can uh, Obadiah, or Emperor Obadiah, call it, um, not call it, um... Take it out from your your deck with Obadiah's ability. And then you can call it with his ability as well. So then bada bing bada boom. You selectively mill this card out. And then you're milling another two. And then anything in your drop zone you can add to your hand. So what you can do is you can um, take a heal trigger. And whatever else you need. Or you think you'll need like heal trigger and maybe a perfect guard. And throw those into the drop zone. So then you can play with them now. So when you call Greed Shade, um, and he does his thing, you know, you discard a card from your hand, whatnot. You can call, you can bring back that, uh, that heal trigger, and then you're good to go for a G guard, which means that kind of that just accelerates you getting to your, well, in my opinion, getting to the GBA. It's kind of like exactly what you want to do, so it just helps with that. But like, there's so many possibilities you can do with Greed Shade. I'm only thinking like. The bare minimum. Um, if you guys have any like creative, spicy things that you can think of to do with Greed Shade, let me know in the comments. I'm really excited to see what you guys think about it. Um, also, if I'm wrong about um, the Nightstorm, oh, quick note on Nightstorm. So it is not the same name as the um, the common Grade Three Night uh, Nightstorm that came out in GBT06. I think it's like Mighty Rogue something Nightstorm. Different names, you can run them both in the same premium deck. Um, because uh, Master Swordsman Nightstorm is a retrain of an old, an old uh, Grand Blue card, and that's just why. You can't have four of each of those in a premium deck. But I don't know why you would, because that old card's garbage. It's not good. Anyway, so uh, if I'm wrong about any of these, let me know. 
if you think that uh, uh, scared dick has a place sure let me know same thing with abyss tentacle um, and I mean try arguing that Pat the ghost he's not cute like come on come on look at his eyes he's real cute alright um, I'm heading out I'll be back when I can get a couple more cards in and we'll just kind of go from there if you guys are liking this let me know leave a comment like the video do all the fancy YouTube stuff. If you want to subscribe so you can get more of these, let me, or not let me know. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm very tired. Very tired. Um, so you can do that. And then also, um, I'm thinking about porting over the, just straight up porting over the drive check episodes to YouTube. Because I was making like custom um, thumbnails for them. Um, but I don't have the time or the energy to do that, but I can do just a straight port over, copy everything from like SoundCloud and make that into a video and post that. If you guys would rather, um, watch or not watch, but listen to the, to drive check on YouTube, let me know in the comments because I can definitely do that if you guys are willing to, willing to watch it. But with that, I'm heading out. Um, I need to come up with a better ending than just buy, but buy.